Yeah, Tom, they have another location in Bel Air, and the management tells me that that location has been broken into in the past, but police there were able to actually catch the suspects. In this case, their location, the New York Deli on Hillcroft, the uh, COO tells me that the HPD, they did file a police report. They also got a copy of the surveillance footage we're about to show you, but she tells me they did not show up in person, and you know, no one was hurt. She she says that she understands this is a big city. There's a lot going on, but she does want police to take this seriously because she fears this person could do this to other businesses. A robber caught on camera shared only on 13. He smashes the front door of the New York deli on Hillcroft and goes behind the counter to grab the cash register and makes a run for it. We had a, actually had a baker here. He was in the back uh, preparing for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is usually a very, very heavily, you know, heavily attended day here. And um, he was in the back and he heard commotion in the front. He came to the front. I think we, he scared the guy off. The COO, Raina Sherman, says she was shocked by the brazen robber who didn't try to hide his face or seemed to know or care that there were surveillance cameras. They called police right away, but Sherman says officers never came in person. They did not feel the need to come out here. Um, we did email them. There was some email communication. We did email me, email them the videos that we have because we do have cameras and we did we could see the the guy on camera. And um, so we did have phone and email conversation, but nobody came out. Well, they replaced the front door, cash register, and finished cleaning up the mess. Sherman hopes the surveillance footage will help officers pin down a suspect before another business takes a hit. It wasn't a huge deal, I guess, in the scheme of what's going on in our world. But to us, you know, we are a small business. We are a, you know, we are like the little engine that could. And so losing a dollar versus, you know, a thousand dollars upward that this is probably going to cost, it's a lot of money for us. So. You know, it's it's not a concern. They show up when they when they need to show up, and they were very responsive when it came to pho the phone call and to um, emails. Um, but it's it's you know it's it's sad that nobody nobody showed up for the little engine that could. <laughs> Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.